like most psychologists, I'm interested in questions about the brain and behavior and basically why we do what we do. So I just ask those similar questions, but I do it in a bird model system instead. Because I, I'm personally interested in, you know, the mental lives of animals. And I think lots of people around the city who, you know, will have a cup of coffee and look out the window and watch birds at a feeder or coyotes in the River Valley, they'll, they'll wonder, how do they know what they know? What, mm -hmm. what do they know? And so I'm really interested in that. Now, part of what you do is examine how birds um, build their nests and, mm -hmm. you know, choose their nests and where they're going to do it. So, so why do birds' nests uh, fit into that? If you ask sort of anyone on the street, you know, about bird nests, they'll just tell you that, oh, birds are born knowing how to build their nest. And, and that's true to some extent. But yeah. I wanted to know, is there any room for learning? So can birds learn from their own experience? Or I also study social learning. So that question is, can you learn about building your nest from watching other birds? And I found that, yes, birds actually do learn from their prior nesting experiences. And they will, in fact, learn if they've never built a nest before from watching other individuals. So that's social learning. And that was once thought to be uniquely human. But lo and behold, the birds use it. So how do you do that research? We use color a lot. So if you're watching, for example, we use wild colors in the lab, like pink and orange nest material. And birds will, in fact, if you're watching someone or another bird build an orange nest, when you come to build your first nest, you'll build an orange nest too, oh, more really? likely than not. So that's how we get social information use. You know, birds, the birds that we use, zebra finches, are social, so that they, they appear to be interested in what the other birds are doing, and they, I mean, they look at them, and we know that they use the social information that's provided, so that's really good evidence that they are watching. Yeah. So where will your research take you next? So uh, a really exciting project we're working on right now is a question of culture. So this, you know, these shared behaviors, beliefs um, that are common to a group that are passed down over generation, like, you know, the music we listen to or fashion, hairstyles, things like that. We're going to ask questions about culture in the lab. So basically we're going to have, for example, the culture will be this room is a pink nest room. And the, then we have an orange nest room over here and we'll add new birds into those environments and we'll already know what those birds like. So if we have a bird that likes to build with orange, we'll put it in a, in a pink population. Huh. And then we're going to ask the question, do you conform to what the other individuals are doing? So do you now build with pink if everyone else is using pink? So this is sort of getting at the uniqueness, again, of human learning, human culture. And we're going to ask, do birds care about peer pressure? Will they stick <laughs> with what they've done before, what they already know, with what right. they already like, or will they conform to what everyone else is doing?